Mike Scan here, Senior Pastor of Epic Life Church in Terrell, Texas. I want to welcome you to a brand new Three Minute Thursday where we take three minutes or less and look at subjects and topics of the Bible. Today we're doing something a little different. We're going to kick off a series, it's going to last us about 10 weeks, and talking about the Ten Commandments. Today we're going to talk about the very first commandment. Now before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our page if you haven't done so already. Click that bell icon so that you're reminded of every time a brand new video comes out. And don't forget to like and share this so that we can get the word out about Three Minute Thursdays and Epic Life Church and all the content that we have available for everyone. So let's take a look at what the very first commandment is that God gives us to, to do. And it's found in Exodus chapter 20, beginning in verse uh, 1. It says, And God spoke all of these words, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt and out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. This is the first commandment. And sometimes it's a very deceptive uh, in our day and time because most people would say, well, I don't worship any other gods. I love God, the God of heaven. The question isn't really another uh, whether or not you do. The question is, it, is, is more, um, does everything in your life point to that? So God is a God of love, obviously, and he loves you so much, so much so that he values you. And he doesn't want you worshiping any other God. The question is, what are you worshiping? To answer that question, you should look at two things in your life. Number one, look at your calendar. Where's all your time going? A lot of times we give God either the leftovers or we give him just minuscule minutes of our life and think that we're worshiping him. So maybe we pray for 10 minutes and we go, see, I spent 10 minutes with God, so therefore, but then we spend, you know, hours upon hours on a computer or on a hobby or a sport or other activities and we only give God a sliver of the time. The other thing to look at is look at your checkbook. See, the Bible says in the book of Luke, it says that wherever our, our heart is, that's where our treasure will be. And so it's really easy to look at your checkbook and see what you value, what's important to you based upon what you spend. And I'm not talking about taking care of your family or paying the rent or any of that. I'm talking about your extra money. Where does it go? Do you help the needy? Do you help the poor? Do you uh, tithe? Do you give generously? If you're not, it's a very good chance that God is not your priority. God is not your number one. And so what I'd like you to do for this Three Minute Thursday is evaluate your life and look at those areas and ask that question. Am I worshiping other gods? Is there something else that I've given more importance, more value in my life than the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and Jacob. This is not meant to bring condemnation, but meant to bring a challenge to all of us as we enter into these feast times to evaluate our life and make God number one and let Him have the throne of our heart. I love you. God bless you. Until next time, Shalom.